Hello Tauruses, welcome to your weekly read. This is going to go from the oh, 6th, no, it's going to go from the 13th through to the 19th, okay, uh, so please take it how it resonates, okay. The energies can be flipped 100%, okay, don't forget to check your moon signs as well. Everything that you need is in the description box below, my merch, the link to my merch, my website, everything, okay. It's all in the description box below. Once I get to 500 subscribers, I am going to be doing a proper, like, massive giveaway, okay. Um, and we're going to have two other runner-ups as well. Um, information will come soon as we get close enough to that, okay, and once the competition starts. Guys, don't forget to smash the like, share, and subscribe because without you guys, this channel would not be right. Okay, Tauruses, let's see what's going on. Okay. What do we need to know from a Taurus? Is Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from the 13th through to the 19th, please. Renewal and forgiveness. Oh, a lot of people are getting this renewal, brand new beginnings, forgiving, healing. A lot of this energy is coming through. So I'm seeing a lot of growth coming through as well. A brand new you. Um, forgiveness as well. Okay, brilliant. So we've got some root chakra and then we've also got the crown chakra. I think that is not, I think that's the third eye of the crown chakra. Don't quote me on it, okay? So, right. We've changed the layout, okay, of this reading a little bit. So it is basically like a Celtic, oh my God, it is like a Celtic cross, but it's not, okay? Some things have stayed, some things have changed with this reading. What do we need to know for my Tauruses? Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, please. From the 13th through to the 19th of May 2020, I was about to say September, for some of y'all something could be happening in September, you just don't know, you just never know, right, so let's see what's going on, from the 13th through to the 19th, for my Tauruses, so Moon Rising Venus and Ascendants, let's get your overall energy, Tauruses, what is Tauruses overall energy, we have the seven of coins, okay, let's see what we need to know about your recent past, what do we need to know about Tauruses recent past, what do we need to know about Taurus's recent past, please? What do we need to know? Whoa, Taurus, we have your energy flying out. But then we had a few more, so I'm, I'm going to take this one. So you were in your element, which is always a great thing. Okay, let's see what's going on in regards to what's carrying you through. Knight of Swords. Right, let's see what's going on in regards to what's on top of your mind, Tauruses. What's on top of Tauruses' mind, please? Ace of Spears came out in reverse. Hmm. We're going to clarify it, so I'm going to leave it upright. Let's see what we need to know about your near future. What do we need to know about Taurus's in the near future? Nine of Cups. Always great to see that energy come through. Um, let's see what we need to know about your overall environment, how you feel within yourself, your own personal space. Let's see what's going on here. Whoa. Okay. They came out in reverse. Taking action on removing something negative from your life, Tauruses. Mm. We'll clarify it, so any messages that do need to come out will. Let's see about the personal, the situation, or your environment, the external environment, what you need to know about that. Six of Swords. Let's see about your hopes or your fears. Taurus energy. Let's see about your overall outcome, justice, and the three of cups. Okay. 
Okay, your overall energy is the lovers, could be dealing with a soulmate connection. Um, could be dealing with a past person. Could be somebody new as well, but it's just a soulmate, it's not really a twin flame. So the soulmate can be anyone really, Tauruses. Um, I'm seeing a lot of love, a lot of passion, wanting to be with each other, having just this connection of just knowing each other for a really long time. Um, okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, so Taurus is for your overall energy, have the seven of coins. So you're really thinking right now about a certain situation that you might be dwelling on more than, let's say, other things that you need to be focusing on right now with the seven of coins. Um, I'm seeing a lot of growth here as well, okay. On the financial side of things, there is growth here, but I'm also seeing here, okay, there is something here that you feel is still amiss, okay, and you're thinking about it a lot, and you're thinking about whether you should invest in it or you shouldn't invest in it, you know, um, kind of going back and forth in your mind. Like I said, in your recent past, you had this empress, okay, which is in your element, going through this growth, okay, um, you know, grounding yourself, having that real ground energy, having a vision, okay, of abundance, love, okay, of what it is that you want, okay. Um, going into what's carrying you through, what's helping you move forward is the Knight of Swords. So right now you could be being a little bit hasty, moving in really, really fast, not putting the brakes on a certain situation. I feel like this could also be as well like getting a little bit like action orientated, um, becoming quite opinionated. A little bit of aggression coming through here, okay? There's like a drive of aggression coming through here as well um, for some of y'all. Okay, so what's on top of your mind is a brand new beginning, but remember we had that in reverse so it could be that you don't know how to start this you don't know how to expand or grow a business perhaps or a relationship even something new going on this is definitely something new something passionate beginning you started something with passion but again it's like how the lack of planning lack of skill that's not allowing this to take place hmm Perhaps your person's not pulling through either. Um, in the over, um, in the near future, we've got the Nine of Cups. So emotional satisfaction, wish desires being fulfilled. Okay, studying, gaining knowledge in regards to how to move forward in regards to whatever's been on top of your mind and what it is that you're trying to start. Okay. So in your personal space, we have the Devil and the Hanged Man. So. Initially, you were hanging and you were planning, you were strategizing and trying to break free from um, toxic toxicity, toxic people. This could be even your habits as well. And you did. You did. You're breaking free. Or you are. You're going to. Okay? So take that out. Resonate. But in your immediate environment, there could be relocation. Moving as well as what I'm seeing here. But in general, this is about perhaps, you know, just your own emotions and your own mind moving towards a more peaceful environment, you know, and just leaving old past, um, you know, people or memories, feelings behind that no longer serve you, right? Because you know that if you take it with you, it's going to sink your boat, okay? Um, the Hierophant coming into your hopes and your fears is to become more spiritual in regards to your religion, um, you know, learning about spirituality, religion, um, for some of you all, if this is not about spirituality, religion, it's about, obviously, um, marriage, okay? Um, in the outcome, you have a reunion, and you want karmic justice for it. This could be a marriage with a person that you really love and you want to be with, okay? It could be a water sign, it could be a Libra, you've got a Taurus here, so it could be another Taurus, you've got Capricorn, uh, you've got the swords as well, you've got the whole thing going on. Um, but there's a reunion, this could signify marriage, 
but this could also signify karmic justice, okay? All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and clarify what it is that we need to know. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. For your overall reading, okay, let's clarify the seven of coins. Okay. Um, Six of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. <laughs> okay. Give and take is what I'm getting from this. Um, perhaps you feel like you've been putting in more effort than somebody else has in making this relationship work or even in regards to whatever it is that you're planning on investing in. But I'm seeing here that there is like approval okay so perhaps you know you're not getting the approval that you need from your family or your friends um perhaps this person's not approving just as yet but i'm also seeing here that you guys are really happy together you know there is this moving forward successfully in this relationship you know what i'm saying um i feel like this could be a father figure or a mother figure or someone like somebody older um, who is not approving of this connection, is not approving of whatever it is that you're trying to invest, or whatever it is you're trying to get successfully. And it's like, they're just like, no, you know, I'm not going to say anything. And, and you want their approval. But again, like, whose approval do you need in order to make yourself happy? Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's your life. You do what makes you happy as long as you're doing it the right way and you're thinking about it and you're, you know, analysing and you're planning. Um, it's about your needs, you know. Let's come for you with some past with the Empress. So we have uh, the King of Wands in reverse and we have the Judgment in reverse. So you are in your element. I think that you were still going through this growth. So you may have been in pre-Empress mode where you were learning about a particular person that you're having to deal with who was someone who was really impulsive, uh, somebody who was a bit of a prejudiced person, ill in nature, um, they had a lot of temper to them, fiery outbursts, perhaps even, um, quite ruthless. And then with this judgment being here in reverse, um, it was like you were unable to make a decision about this person. Right? You were unable to make a decision about this person. This person may have even made you, Tauruses, feel like you are worth nothing. You know, um, you know, whatever you do, you're worth nothing. Okay, they they made you doubt yourself. That's what I feel here. Okay, um, and this person was not somebody who, even if you tried to explain to this person, you know, whatever you're saying is hurting me. They were just like, whatever, I don't care. It's not my problem. You know, that's the kind of attitude I'm getting. So they weren't really admitting to it. You know, they weren't really facing how they really were like or how they are like. Okay, let's kind of find out thoughts. So we have the Nine of Swords, stress, depression, anxiety, no, so you are mentally not, re like, rest you are mentally restless, okay, you're going through a lot of stress, okay, um, but, you know, having this attitude of a little bit of aggression that was coming through and taking hasty steps is what kind of got you through, um, you know, this situation and what helped you um, come up with new ideas in regards to a relationship, a soulmate connection. So whatever stress you were going through, it was because you perhaps did not get this uh, new beginning with a soulmate that you actually wanted. Something did not work out here because somebody was prejudiced. Uh, somebody did not approve. Okay, but this relationship could have got somewhere, right? You see what I'm saying? Like there was a, um, an older person in the family who did not approve of it or something happened here. Okay, let's clarify the Ace of Spears because that was in reverse. Okay, let's see. So we have, oh, what is that? Hermit. Sorry, guys, because I don't recognize these cards. Um, 
I'm used to my other ones. So we have the habit. I've been dealing with a Virgo, it doesn't have to be. So you withdrew from actually even starting a new beginning. You were trying to figure out ways on how you could get a completion um, in this new beginning that you wanted, this new passionate creation that you were trying to venture out for. That you have a lot of passion for, see, Ace of Cups, you have a lot of passion for it, you know, but you're feeling really overwhelmed, which is probably what's causing that kind of, I can't see forward, I can't begin, I can't go through this growth, I can't start something new. Let's clarify the Nine of Cups. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Got a lot of Earth energy coming through for a lot of people. Four of Swords. Um magician so somewhere along the line here regrounding yourself okay for your own happiness you're not letting anybody push you around is what i'm going to get from this for a sword you're just meditating contemplating relaxing okay for your own health your own needs and you realize that that is more important okay right now you're not manifesting anything okay you're just you're just focusing on your own wish, your own hopes, your own desires, okay? And with this, you know that right now you don't really have the will to manifest anything. And you're just focusing on yourself right now. That's what I feel it is. I feel like you could also be getting manipulated into somebody just trying to push you all the time into doing more than you can. And I feel that right now what you're trying to do is you're trying to pull yourself back and you're like, no, 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 that's it, you know? Um, let's clarify the devil and the hangman because you're breaking free from a certain situation here. So let's see what that's about. It was a difficult situation to break free from whoever this person is, this toxic person. Oh, person was behaving a bit like a snake. Um, four of pentacles. You were protecting yourself, perhaps even overprotective. You regrounded yourself. This person really expected you actually to put everything down. Like they were trying to really behave like a king. Okay. Like my demands, everything on my terms. Um, you were really self-protecting yourself and holding back because you knew that this person was not who they said they are. You know that this person was sly. Okay. Um, and to get it their own way, they would slither and sly, slither their way through. Okay. And you were just trying to reground yourself and get your own shit back together again, Tauruses, okay? Which is what I'm getting from this. So you were planning, you were strategizing. Three of Pentacles, yeah, see, rebuilding, okay? You were rebuilding um, your own life, okay? And holding back from this person. Um, you were holding back from expressing yourself to this person. You were holding back from communicating to this person. You withdrew yourself, you were stale, you know, like that is it, you know, I'm not talking to this person, I'm not saying nothing to this person, you ghosted this person almost, to the extent that even if you were in front of this person, it's like this person could not get through to you, you did not let it affect you in any kind of way, that's how you broke free from this, um, this situation, and yet you are being cautious, cautious still, but again, it's like, you know that you're breaking free from this situation, and you're rebuilding a life for yourself, let's clarify the six of swords, So we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Your person wants to perhaps relocate or move into a calmer situation. But they are unable to get a breakthrough in the situation. Again, it's because you're not responding, right? The more you don't respond to this person, the more it's going to be like, oh, okay, you know, I can't seem to get through to this person now. Two of Cups. They want to move into a calmer situation because they see this as a twin flame connection and so did you you know to be honest Tauruses but it's only like a matter of time you know when you realize that somebody here is being way too toxic in a relationship you know um this could even be a family member for some of you guys you know no you can't get a breakthrough in a situation you just can't do it because you're determined this person may be determined as well you know, but it's karmic justice now, really, that, you know, this person is, is not going to be able to get away with it now. Let's clarify the hyphen. So we have the seven of cups in reverse, and we have the seven of pentacles. A lot of sevens coming through. I'm going to say there's a lack of understanding here in regards to even 
marriage spirituality okay and with the seven of pentacles being here okay you're you're thinking about it a lot but it worries you it worries you because you know there's lack of understanding here you know there's a lack of balance here you know there's a lack of faith or wisdom here in this relationship in this marriage okay so even if there was a marriage to go ahead you know that it was never going to work um I feel like there could have been somebody else, like an affair going on behind someone's back, like a love affair going on behind someone's back for some of y'all, that's what I feel in this marriage perhaps even. Okay, let's clarify the um, Three of Cups for the Justice. Eight of Wands, communication coming through. Two of Swords. Um, conflicted energy here. Not sure. Not sure whether to have this reunion or not. Okay. Um, a lot of communication going back and forth between you and this person. There could be a lot of movement going on as well. Okay, in regards to um, marriage or divorce discussions going on. I feel like you guys are not still able to compromise in regards to whatever it is that, you know, in regards to this reunion, a family, friends, whatever it is. But um, you guys ain't, ain't able to come to this um, agreement here. And I feel like someone here is unable to see the way forward. They don't know which path to take. Um, and it's an imbalanced situation, to be honest. It is because somebody here may feel like, yeah, let's see, five of swords. Somebody may feel like if they make a move, they're going to lose, they're going to get stuck, they're going to get trapped again, perhaps even in this toxic relationship or situation. You know, so. Hmm. Right, okay, guys, um, I'm going to leave this reading here, Taurus. I hope it resonated. If it did, it's if it wasn't your message, don't forget to share, because if it doesn't resonate with you, it may resonate with somebody else that you do know who's going through this. Don't forget to smash the like, share, and subscribe, okay? All the good stuff, guys. I'll see you guys real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.